Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today we've got some Johnny Lightning to look at. Always fun to look at some Johnny Lightning cars. So these are some cars that we're just going to open up. There's 10 of them, per usual for 10 Car Tuesday episodes. And let's just get right into it. So this is a Miho exclusive special edition, limited to 2,400 pieces. You can read that if you want. Um... Pretty cool little uh, 1970 VW Beetle. If you want to take a look at the card art. Now, this has come out uh, fairly recently. Uh, I don't know if there's a yeah, 2019 copyright date. Um, it is as any plastic clamshell kind of thing here. So, we're going to do, the, do a little scissor action here and cut that open. And here it is out of the package. Let's give it a little zoom action. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So there was two versions of this Miho uh, kind of that came out. I'm going to open the next one here in just a second. That came out at the same time. This is a nice uh, casting from Johnny Lightning. Uh, metal body, metal base. This one's got a little bit of added features with the roof rack and the uh, spare tire up there, which is kind of a cool little add. There's a couple different variations of this tooling or different bumper styles. This one's got the two little nubs in the front, the two nubs in the back, and then you got the uh, exhaust sticking out the back, which is not on all versions of the tooling. Pretty nice though. Rubber tires, Firestone lettered tires. I like the Miho exclusive Johnny Lightning stuff because they really add some detail to the cars and uh, they do some pretty neat stuff with them. And this definitely qualifies. The next one you'll see is a slightly different version here. Here it is in Golf livery, limited to 2,400 pieces. Here's a quick peek at the packaging. If you want to read that, go for it. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get it out. This also is a 1970 deal. And just Shopping the packaging real quick here. And pulling it out. There it is. This one looks pretty awesome. Now, I've kind of shied away from getting a lot of golf cars, but I thought that this one looked really nice. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, this one's got Goodyear tires. Goodyear lettered tires. Basically the same, it's the same tooling. Uh, this one doesn't have the roof rack, but it has the added little duck bill in the back here. But pretty good details all around. Baja Bug, Beetle there for the license plates. Kind of a nice little pair. This one looks awesome. Definitely digging that. So I kind of loosely collect the Volkswagen Beetles from Johnny Lightning. And I don't really try too hard to go after all of them. There's so many of them. But sometimes I see one that I don't have, and I decide to go ahead and pick it up. This is another recent release. This is a different Beetle tooling. This is the uh, 1951 Split Window Beetle. This is a Project in Progress car. I'll take a look at that. Read that if you'd like. This is limited to 3507 pieces. It is in 2018 release four for Street Freaks. I love the Project in Progress cars. They're pretty awesome. Little added details are really cool. This comes with a little card. There's the other cars that were in the Street Freaks series. And here is the car. And it looks pretty cool. So there's a version, what was this, version A or version B? This was version B. I think I already had version A. I've opened it in a different one. Um, but this is version B. And it looks really cool. I like the, uh, they even dirtied the base, which looks cool. Love that weathered look. Pretty awesome. Even did the windows. Just some dust in the windows. That's really cool. You got a white wall tire back here. All the rest of them, no white wall. 
it looks like they even got different rims so this is a different rim than that one or it looks like that sort of yeah it is right yeah the back the back ones are different lots of cool little details here the more you look at it the more you see what does that license plate say Barno. Barno. Barn find. Pretty awesome. So that's really cool. That's uh, car number three. We got one more Beetle to look at. And this is just a real basic one. So this, I believe, is actually the same tooling as these guys. But this is more of a, this is a 66 classic Beetle in the classic gold limited edition Johnny Lightning series. Uh, this package is all dusty. Uh, copyright date 2007 on this package. Comes a little collector card thingy majiggy. Classic gold collection. And here is the car. So here's a real basic one. Looks pretty good though. Of course, it has the metal body, it has the uh, metal base. This would be the different bumper. both front and rear but it is basically the same tooling so pretty cool and light line tires they look okay not quite a perfect circle there on either side really you got some weird part here where it looks like part of the silver trim paint got onto the body so a little sloppy there uh, but not too bad just a regular little basic Volkswagen Beetle. Not much not much to talk about there. Uh, let's see here. Next, let's do a couple of vans. We've got this one right here. We'll take a peek. Vinyl Rules. This is from the Boogie Van series, the 1976 Dodge D150. Uh, it's from Boogie Vans. I don't know which one it is. Uh, it appears to be copyright date 2003. So it's kind of old. Um, let's go ahead and pull it up. The vans, I'd still do. I'm trying to get every one of them. I think this is a sticker. Yeah, this is a sticker. Vinyl rules. Vinyl does rule. Um, I've got quite a little record collection, too, by the way. Anyway. Here it is. In yellow. Some crazy little decorations on the side. Looks pretty neat. Plastic tires on this one, metal base, metal body, plastic side pipes. It's a pretty aesthetically pleasing van. I'm not a huge fan of these wheels. Those are some of the worst Johnny Lightning wheels in my opinion. Um, but, I don't know, they look okay on this van. I just wish the vans all had rubber tires. I think the idea was, was is really they wanted to make these downhill racing uh very good at the downhill racing and I think that's why they put plastic tires on a lot of them it does roll pretty good and it's heavy all right next is this one coca-cola Ford delivery van yep before m2 both Matchbox and Johnny Lightning did a lot of Coca-Cola stuff. I don't think that Hot Wheels ever did. 2003 here, and I get it. Some people like really like their Coca-Cola. I'm not a fan, but since I'm sort of a completionist with these vans, I had to get it. I'm a Pepsi guy. I mentioned that every time that I bring up Coca-Cola is that I prefer Pepsi. Sorry about it. I do. I'm just one of those weirdos that likes Pepsi more than Coke. And I like Mountain Dew. It's been a while since I've had one, but I dig it. All right, metal body, metal base, rubber tires on this one. Yeah, pretty nice little van. So you got some uh, wheel issue there, but uh, that's correctable. Don't need to do it on camera, but that is correctable. 
Hey, not too bad. You got a nice little Coca Cola scene here. Firework with the Coke bottle, and yeah, 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 yeah. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Let's do this one. This is a twofer. So, it looks like Johnny Lagan did a few of these limited edition to 5,000 test shots or first shots. Not test shot. This is a Corvette Grand Sport. 1963 we get it in like a mirrored finish blue and then a raw um so let's go ahead and take a look at both um i don't know what we really need to look at on this packaging there's really not much uh, except for maybe this information if you can read sideways i'm not moving the camera to make it better there's that uh here's the other models i guess that were in this particular series this is the corvette Col collection limited edition first shot and it appears, uh, where's the date on this sucker? I don't know. I don't know where the date is. Oh, probably in here. Date, 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 date. Copyright date, 1999. All right, let's go ahead and open it. This packaging is pretty rough. So some pretty complex packaging with the, the mirrored backing and such oh it's got these little ties i hate these things i'm just cutting them with a little side cutter thing yeah, i'm sorry you guys got to witness this probably should edit this out but i'm not going to have you look at that one we need to get the little twisty ties out from the bottom there, but take a peek at that while I struggle with the other one. I'm just cutting her out right now. So it appears we get a metal body, metal base, of course, which is pretty much standard for Johnny Lightning most of the time. They do make some cars with plastic bases, and some of those are actually some of the best releases, in my opinion. Um... Let's see here, I'm going to try to get this twisty tie thing all the way off of this blue one. This is probably going to be the one that's going to be more excited to look at than the raw. So let's go ahead and exchange that. I'll pull the tie off of this one. So yeah, they did this mirror finish stuff, uh, which looks really good. It's kind of like a Spectre Flame sort of deal almost that you would uh, expect to see from Hot Wheels. Oh man, this one's tough. Trying to get this little tie off here, but yeah, it's a it's a nice color blue. Almost got it. Bear with me. All right, there we go. Hate that type of packaging. Despise it. Put a screw through there if you're gonna mount it to something. Hood opens. Sort of. We'll try to get it better on the other one. So, metal base, metal body. Looks nice. Some details there. You get some uh, tail light detail. A little bit of detailing up there. In the mirror finish. Uh, looks pretty good. This almost reminds me of, um, of the Classics series of Hot Wheels. The way that this thing is finished. And then here it is in the raw. And we get nothing. There's absolutely nothing on it. So no details, nothing. You just get to see the actual raw tooling. It appears to be clear-coated. But the actual raw tooling, which is kind of neat. Um, Greenlight did this kind of stuff for a little while, too. They called it the first cut. I don't think they do it anymore. But they would release a... That hood, not easy to open. So we're not going to bother... Um, they used to do the first cut. I don't know if they do it anymore. I don't think they did. I don't think those things sold very well. Because, it, you know, it's kind of cool, but who really wants one like this? Yeah, just a neat little piece, I guess. All right, I got two more. I'm going to start with this Dodge Viper. 2010 Dodge Viper SRT10. This is in the good old short card Johnny Lightning, which is, I think, later. This is 2010, yeah. So, a later release before they kind of took a hiatus and then were revived by round two. T10 
decent casting plastic base on this one it's got an opening hood show that big motor off in there and it looks pretty good this is not my favorite generation of Dodge Viper but this does look pretty nice I like the color quite a bit uh, the wheels are plastic too but the uh, pretty good looking plastic wheels not a bad little car all right and then lastly this might be my favorite of the group um, I don't have much of this casting this is a nice little Honda Civic custom from the Johnny Lightning import heat series which came out uh, it appears in 2002 so they were doing some JDM stuff in 2002 well not really JDM import heat so this is a kind of decent little tooling they've released it a bunch of times uh, kind of recently I think there were some Mio exclusive ones um, I don't know what all they put it in but they did release it Summit recently round two has released this tooling I think this is a pretty cool version of it though the Honda graphic on the side auto meter Honda so this one has a metal base metal body uh, plastic wheels and tires on this one but I think they look pretty decent and that is the 10th car for 10 car Tuesday so we had some interesting Johnny Lightning we got to see well, four of them were, were Volkswagen Beetles out of those probably the Golf one's my favorite um, out of the other cars we looked at I think this one's my fave I also do dig this Viper too I think it looks pretty nice um, the Corvette looks okay it's an older tooling from Johnny Lightning and some of the older toolings I'm not really a huge fan of but it looks pretty decent I've always been a fan of the, the Corvette Grand Sport so that one in blue is kind of nice um, uh, Beetle I don't know I do like this one a lot too a recent release and then of course you guys know I'm a van collector so gotta dig on those vans pretty awesome all right so that's gonna be it for this episode guys thanks for watching another 10 car Tuesday episode I hope you tune into uh, all of them I hope you check out the playlist please like comment subscribe all that awesome stuff and you have a good day